All right, we so love it when Jane Krakowski stops by. Not only is she one of the most talented people on the planet, but yes. most importantly, she's a longtime friend of our show. We love you. Yes, and now Jane is getting rave reviews in season two of the musical series Schmigadoon, where she plays hotshot lawyer Bobby Flanagan, and this scene-stealing mm -hmm. number has folks buzzing about another Emmy nomination. Take a look, everyone. The testimony is hearsay and it reeks of retribution. So what we have here is nothing but malicious prosecution. And a verdict of not guilty is the only just solution. This won't be a split decision. Holy moly, Jane Sarkowski! <laughs> oh, Come on, no. everyone. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Look, no, we're no. not doing anything here. Look what she did. <laughs> Holy moly! Wait, that's, by the way, oh. every single thing you're good at is in that moment. It's the dancing, it's the stunts, it's the singing. It's like it all came together in that moment, what was it like doing that? Well, I mean, I did have this number called Bells and Whistles where I was allowed to put every bell and whistle I may have learned through my entire career into the number as it was required for that. But I remember opening the script on the first day that I received it and being blown away with the role that was wrote, written for me um, and then started stretching immediately. <laughs> I was like, I need Gosh. to limber up now. How did you, did you know how to do the splits already or? I, I had done the splits in, in my career yeah. uh, and sometimes at an, an occasional party trick I bring out. <laughs> <laughs> what but, party? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but when I did read the script, I was like, okay, which ones are, what things are we going to be able to pull? Um, and I started stretching and doing my dance warm-ups immediately and obviously vocal warm-ups. But uh, the, the trapeze part was I was just meant to enter in the trapeze and I was like, oh, that's too good. I, can I please learn how to trapeze? So during the filming process, I was going to trapeze lessons when we were finished filming and trying to learn as many tricks on the trapeze as I could do. That's unbelievable. Wow. I took hang gliding lessons for this fourth hour of the day. <laughs> and I still... I still haven't used it. I'm it's excited for the Stay last tuned. block. You're come in. So critics just are calling this, calling you, sensational, a standout, a knockout spectac a spectacle that demands Emmy consideration. So if you do get nominated for an Emmy for this show, you will be the first actress ever, ever, to get a Best Comedy Supporting Actress nomination in three different shows. Yeah, that's crazy. Come I didn't on. even know that. You're going to make me cry. If you... If you do get the third one, can you, when you give the speech, can you just scream in your face? <laughs> in your face, Betty White. <laughs> I think she's the only one that's she, come close to that, She's right? come close, What yeah. does that feel like, yeah. to have that? Well, I, I couldn't believe it when I read it. I, I, yeah. I don't know who the people are that do that kind of research, because I certainly didn't know that. Yeah. Um, it would obviously be a dream come true and something I never would expect to happen in my career. So um, it's moving, because I think... Mm. I've gotten to do so many great jobs, but I'm also very aware that parts like this and roles and numbers like that don't come along very often. I feel like I'm in a, a singular moment in my career and at my age to be able to do a number where I get to show all those bells and whistles. And the response has been way beyond any of my expectations so and you, dreams. You put it in an NBA talk. What was your NBA analogy? Oh, no, it's like being, uh, if you, if you, Get that Emmy. I mean, you're already there, but if you get, you know, if you're on multiple teams and you win championships, that's that's you. So <laughs> it's rare. All about uh, you, you know, multiple different teams. So yeah, kind. very so cool. Kind. Um, so, how's your little son Bennett doing? Oh, by the way, he's really good. Oh, he, I feel like when you were here before, he was just a little. Look at that kid. <gasps> yeah, there he's he twelve now. He is. Yes. Oh my gosh. So, has he seen your body of work? Has he watched Thirty Rock? Has he? Uh, well, he hasn't seen all of 30 Rock yeah. yet. I haven't fully introduced him to it. Yeah. Um, the Does one he like he, it? Well, he has that same sense of humor. Um, um, he shares my, my acerbic... Yeah. I mean, he was born when I was 42. Like, he got the, the acerbic actress <laughs> sense right. of humor, which is odd on a, on a young no, when boy. My kids watch me, they'll be like, that was great, except for your acting. <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah, Wonderful. yeah, yeah. My son, when he watched Bells and Whistles, gave me... Uh, a 7.8, and he liked when I rapped like Eminem. So is that what he said? It's on time, what I'm doing. So <laughs> I, I have let my son down in his musical education, musical theater education. Well, so there. Eminem but, uh, is the Sondheim yeah. of rappers. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where did you lose the point two on the? 
What, what, what? I, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. He's okay. a very tough judge. He's a tough judge. So he's, but he was there. He kind of helped you out shooting on 30 Rock. Yeah. At some so he, point. The, when he got exposed to 30 Rock was when we did um, an at-home episode during the pandemic, where obviously no crew uh, or anyone could come and help us. So he was my what, what we called our home helpers. He helped me set up the cameras. He set up the microphones. And then there was this one scene where it was integral to the comedy yeah. that a fan hits my hair Beyonce yeah. style at, at the exact moment, and he was in charge of the fan, and he was under my desk so he wouldn't be seen by the cameras. <laughs> oh, <look at> there <laughs> he is, big moment. Yeah. I think that's, was... that's a union violation, I think. Yeah. There's people in here that are mad. Absolutely. And I was like, look, kid, mommy's comedy career depends on this. <laughs> yeah. you, you better not it. mess this up. You hit me. <laughs> by the way, why aren't you yelling? <laughs> and by the way, you and Titus Burgess, we love from Kimmy yeah. Schmidt, are teaming up together, the two of you. We are. We're doing a new musical show for Audible. Hey. Um, it's going to be at the Manetta Lane Theater at the end of July. Oh. And I'm so excited. He's also in the second season of Chicago of Schmigadoon. So um, we we seem to always work together and find each other in our in our careers and in our friendship too. So we're thrilled to be putting this this two person show together. Well, it's going to be fun. Yeah, time. when is it? It is July 26, 27, 28. Okay, great. Free and, tickets. No, 27, 28, 29. Okay, okay. we'll get it. Well, don't move because uh, Jane and Joel, they're going to go head to head. They have a, a great debate that's about to happen coming yeah. up right after this. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, guys. Oh, we are back. Action. Jane Krakowski can be seen singing and dancing her way through the new season of Schmigadoon. And since we have two of the sharpest minds in comedy here, we're going to go head to head with a game we're calling The Great Debate. Okay, so here it goes. I'm going to give a topic. You each have 20 seconds to make your case. When you're done, I'll choose the winner. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, all right. All, right. all right. First topic is musicals, pro or con. Jane, you're going to go first. Okay. And we're going to put 20 seconds on the clock. Okay. And go, sell it. Musicals, absolutely pro. Duh, that's my whole world. Where else do you, you have something to say that it's so important that you don't you don't just have to say it, you have to sing it. Yeah. Or where you have such strong feelings that you have to just break out into dance. Where else can you fall in love within a three-minute song? Where else can you wear fun costumes and escape into a fantasy land eight times a week, twice on that in eight days? Uh, yeah. He goes, yes. He says yes. All right. Joel, wait. Your 20-second rebuttal is starting right now. Go. That was a really good argument. I really agree <laughs> with almost it. No. <laughs> I am very against musicals. <laughs> no one just breaks out in song for no reason. What, I, look, I grew up in a very Catholic, passive-aggressive family, and we kept to ourselves. We don't just start singing out loud. Are you kidding? That would expose our emotions. We Joel, don't want any of that. I disagree uh, with you. He all that yeah, into <laughs> bourbon. Well, Joel. I won. Although you're hilarious. It's Jane Kurkowski uh, on the first yeah. one. Dang All right. it. All right, here we go. Our oh, next... great. <laughs> oh, I, it happened. Our go next ahead. debate topic, wild animals as pets, pro or con. Joel, you'll take it. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We should have wild animals as pets. Here's why. There's a show on Fox called Animal Control, oh. <laughs> and which is re-airing this summer. Just and if you if you have a wild animal, you should definitely uh, have Animal Control come and take it away to a sanctuary where it should properly uh, live its life. Thank you very okay. much. Jane, a big animal lover. <gasps> what do you think about wild animals as pets? 20 seconds, go. Wild animals as pets? No, con, never. Did you not all watch Tiger King? <laughs> Enough said. Tiger King, <laughs> meth, murder, prison. They should have called animal control. <laughs> Joe, I know you're my guest co-host. Did I lose again? <laughs> you lost again, Jane's oh, got two. Right. All right. Season Here we go. two next year, everybody. <laughs> Last, <laughs> Fox. Last topic. Here we go. Reality TV, okay. pro or con. Jane, you're up. Okay, reality TV. It depends, but I'm going to be con because right at the moment, I'm really into Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> or the reunion specials of Vanderpump Rules. Or even the better title, Scandal Ball. Am I right? Watching people's lives being destroyed on television. Hilarious. Where else will we get great li lines like... You are a worm with a mustache or poopy head from the great Jamie, Jamie Kennedy. Oh, oh, let me finish. I have to finish. Finish. Please, unless we want to keep having TV like this with great lines like that, please end the writer strike. Pay your writers. And we need scripted oh, right. television. Yes, I'm Oh, there you go, Jane. Go ahead. So Jane, wait, you, you said you were con. con. <laughs> 
it's a pro, 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 pro. Okay, so oh, you're a con. Go ahead. I'm against it. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Take it. I was. I hosted a show for 12 years that made me uh, a, a living wage and money and bought me a house. Wait, I guess I'm pro. I can't even remember. Anyway. <laughs> Our saviors, the Kardashians, really changed our lives for the better. And I'm just glad they have another show on uh, Hulu now. Thank God. Because yeah, they need more money. Uh, did I win? Well, once she hit the rider strike, you knew it was changing. That was after time. It was the sweep. Hashtag WGA strong, but that was after time. Wait, what'd you say? That was after. Her time had ended. Oh, okay. But you just said before that? Time? <laughs> Kardashians? <laughs> Rider <or> strike. <laughs> Hashtag WGA strong. You can catch season two of Schmigadoon on Apple TV+. Plus.